Hello, everybody. Um, excuse me. Um, uh, I know I've been uploading videos on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to delete them videos. And my channel is going to be number of videos of, of, of everything that I post personally of myself. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete the rest of that stuff. I know I haven't, um, unless God put it on my heart to keep it on me. I know I haven't posted anything in a while, like I always say, it's no excuse, but I'm just, I'm here today and I'm making this video. Today, I want to talk about sexual sin. Because I feel like in today's world, in society today, as we stand, I think everyone is dealing with sexual sin. Everyone. So I want to touch on that today. Sexual sin. Now, the first thing I want to, excuse me, the first thing I want to touch on is uh, fornication. Because, like I said, it's so acceptable today. And, and the reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of people don't even know that fornication is even a sin. They don't even think about it. Because it's so accepted today in today's society. When you have two people that's not married and engaging in sex, that is a sin in God's eye. And a lot of people don't even know they even commit sin. Not to say even if y'all even care. But if you're watching this video, this is a warning to you. So if you have your partner or if you're sleeping with multiple people and you're not married, you are committing sin and you will be judged for that in the eyes of God. I'm not your judge, but our Lord and Savior will judge you. And I just want to throw that out there because a lot of people who's not married have boyfriends, girlfriends, or even multiple problem partners having sex don't feel like they even, don't even know if they even sinning or not. And for the people who don't even care, I will urge you to honestly examine yourself and um, move away from that sin and keep yourself holy for the Lord until you get married, until you, until you marry someone and they become your life partner, your significant other. But until then, I would suggest that you stay single and practice celibacy until you get married. Because, like I said, a lot of people don't even know they're committing sin. But like I said, if you whistle, if you have a partner and y'all having sex and you're not married, or you have much if you have multiple sex partners, you are committing fornication. So I'm gonna just throw that out there. Second thing I want to talk about is lust. Because I feel like everybody deal, deal with lust. Even I deal with lust. And I'm really trying to, and I really am controlling lust. And one, one thing about dealing with lust is you can't put yourself in compromising position that you know that's going to trigger that lust. So you got to stay away from certain things on the internet. You got to stay away from, you know, Certain Instagram, Instagram, even Instagram, you may be strolling and you might come across someone that's, you know, naked or whatever like that or or showing body parts that that could trigger you. Even social anything on social media these days, even Facebook, you just got to you just got to watch, watch what you watch, monitor what you watch. Basically, that's what you got to do because it's everywhere. Everything is so sexualized now. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. So we really have to be careful of what we what we watching because it's so critical. Like God said, like even if you marry, even if you marry, and if you're not cheating on your wife, if you married and cheating on your wife, that's adultery. But like God said in the Bible, if you are married and you look upon a woman 
lustfully, you com you already committed adultery. So just because you're married and you're not physically uh, having sex with someone else besides your wife or husband, if you look upon somebody, if you look upon somebody and you have sex with that, I mean, if you look upon somebody and you lusting after that person, you already committed adultery. And that's what the Bible says. Excuse the noise upstairs, y'all. Excuse the noise. But, uh, yeah, even if you look upon somebody and you're married, you're committing, you're committing adultery. So I just want to throw that out there because some people may not even know that. But if you're a Christian, you should know all these things. For the believer and the non-believers, whether you're a Christian or not, sin is sin. And we all can go to hell for sin. And that's how we got to be careful of what we do. But today I'm only talking about sexual sin. Maybe the next video I'll just touch on other stuff. And let me just say this. I'm not judging anyone. I'm just only warning people. You know, people always say, oh, yeah, the Bible, you know, they, the Christians always... You got these rules and this and that and, and they only try to control us But let's just sit here and think for a minute God placed These commandments in the Bible For a reason Like he ain't he, It's no mistake that he made these commandments Just think about it Like certain commandments Like Like we, we see a lot of kids In foster homes And things like that Think about it. If you follow the Bible, when it says you should be married before you have sex, why you having sex? Think about it. it. Won't be so many kids in foster home. They have a two parent home. And then you gotta understand, like people always say all these wars and and you know things like that. But think about it. Another commandment: if you love your neighbor, if you love your neighbor, there will be no need for wars. So just think about that for a minute. Just think about it. All the stuff that we do not like, think about it. If we follow, you know, God commands, certain things wouldn't even happen. It wouldn't even happen if we just follow God's law. God put these laws into place for a reason. It was for our own benefit. But let me just move on. I just wanted to throw that in there real quick. Let's talk about homosexuality. This is a topic that I feel like a lot of people and pastors and everyone else shy away from. A lot of people don't like talking about homosexuality. But today I'm going to talk about it because if I love you, I'm going to speak on it. Because like I said, it's a lot of uh, people that's practicing homosexuality that don't know they're sinning. I mean, a lot of people do, but some people don't. You know, the first thing people want to bring up is God is love. And he wouldn't send no one, he wouldn't judge no one for who they are. But let me tell you something. That's not that's not natural for a man to love a man and a woman to love a woman. God didn't design it like that. If you go back to the Genesis, he said he created man and he created woman. So that just tells you right there. God has nothing to do with homosexuality. And the Bible also speaks about it's an abomination. And not only that, but it seemed like it's spreading like wildflower. It's like it's the new norm now. It's what everybody uh, practicing. It's what they, even the kids, they, they throwing it on the kids, all of that. I mean, it's just getting out of control. I'm not judging anyone because we all fall short of God's glory, but I'm just telling you how things are. Like, you can't even speak about it because if you speak about it, you label a homophobic. Like, we could be brothers and sisters, and I don't have to agree with your lifestyle for you to say I'm homophobic or I, I hate I hate uh, gay people just because I don't agree with the, just because I don't agree with your theology. I don't agree with your lifestyle. I believe we two adults, we should be able to, to, to agree to disagree without there's being any problem, without people saying that. We're homophobics. We hate. We hate you guys. It's not like that. Me as a heterosexual man, I just prefer my kids to be straight. That's it. Just think about it. 
if there's certain things that you don't agree with, then you're not going to call people hateful and this and that. Y'all just disagree on things. But it seems like the world is, is really pushing this on everybody. It's like you can't even have enough. See, people love homosexuals. People love homosexuals, but it's like how they going by doing it and they and they taking people First Amendment right that you can't even have a voice no more. It's making people find it real difficult finding it real difficult to find it real difficult to even even want to have a, 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 a opinion about it. Because you can't even have an opinion about it. And people are getting frustrated about the whole thing and it make them don't even want to deal with uh this type of lifestyle when it comes to these people. So that's why people have a lot of animosity towards these people. But let's just know y'all are our brothers and sisters in Christ. We may not agree with the lifestyle, but we still love you guys. And we could just and we could disagree of your lifestyle. I just don't think it's right for excuse the dog, everyone. I don't think it's right for them to try to push that on us that we have to agree with it. There's a lot of stuff I don't like, but I don't push it on. I don't think people don't push it on me. I mean, a lot of stuff that I like, but I don't push it on other people. There's a lot of things in life that people don't agree with, but they don't push it on people. It's like they're trying to force us to like this lifestyle. We understand that a man want to be with a man and a woman want to be with a woman, but don't force us to like your lifestyle. Because at the end of the day, you're human beings at the end of the day. And we're going to treat you according to your being a human being. It ain't got nothing to do with your being gay at all. I'm supposed to treat you right because you're a human being. Even though the world don't see it like, you know, some people got a problem with people being gay. I think it's just out of control now because I think a lot of people is fed up and angry about it because they see that they try to push it everywhere in the schools in, in um everywhere the school at everywhere excuse me y'all they try to just push let's just say they try to push it everywhere in people everyday lives they want us to accept it they're coming all these new laws and rights and everything <laughs> and you can't even speak about it excuse the dog y'all and you can't even shh, be quiet go sit down sit 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 you can't, you can't even speak about it. So I'm just telling y'all. Shh. Be quiet. Excuse the dog, everybody. But yeah, you can't even speak about it without someone getting offended. And I think that's what a lot of people are getting frustrated about. But at the end of the day, we love y'all. And I love you guys. And I just want y'all to recognize that what y'all doing is a sin. And everything I talked about today is a sin. So, no, nothing personal when it comes to nobody. Like I said in the beginning, I struggle with stuff too. I'm just trying to br bring awareness to that lifestyle that it's a sin. And you, whether you agree with it or not, that's up to That's your choice. But just know one day we all going to be judged by our Lord and Savior one day. And he's going to ask you, why didn't you turn from that sin? And what can you say? We all can say, well, everything I name, we all can say, well, I didn't know. Or I felt like it was right. I felt it in my heart that I was right. And believe me, he's going, you're going to know the truth because he's going, he's going to make you acknowledge the truth. Shh. He's going to make you acknowledge the truth. And on that day, ain't nothing you can do about it. And when he said, depart from me, I never knew you. Some words that you don't want to hear. You don't want to hear that. But today, you got a chance today to repent and ask for forgiveness. And turn away from that sin. And try to, do, and try to be obedient to God's word. God gave us a free gift, which is salvation. You know, it's, it's free. You don't have to pay. For, you don't have to pay for it. He paid a price for it. So we can live. So we can have eternal life. So we can have eternal life. So today all I want to say is, if you don't know Jesus Christ, I urge you to get to know him. 
accept him in your heart, and start your relationship with him. I done say this time and time again. I'm not judging anybody because we all struggle with things. And no sin is greater than and no sin is greater than the other. But some sins are abomination. All I'm saying is get right with Christ. Live for him. It's, it's, it's how the world is right now. We, we have to get right with him. Let's not let's not play with our salvation. Excuse me, y'all. Let's not play with our salvation. I'm urging you now, if you don't know Christ, get to know him. Accept Jesus into your life. Accept him in your heart. And also, I want to touch on, excuse all the noise and the dog barking in this video. I might want to do it over, but, you know, I want to get this message out as soon as possible. So I might just, just go and put it out there. But uh, yeah, just uh, let's just, just examine ourselves. And any wickedness we got in our life, anything that we're doing, anything we're doing, we need to give it all to God and repent. Don't think you have time to repent because you may not have one. You may not one day have time to repent. So just do the right thing right now. Is repent and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. True repentance. Even for me too. We all struggle with things. Let's get back. Let's get back to what's really important. Our relationship with Christ. It's not about religion. It's not about religion. That's just a trick from the enemy. Once you get caught up in religion and everything else, but it's all about our relationship with our Lord and Savior. That's the most important thing. Our relationship with Him. Forget what's going on in this world. Focus on the kingdom of God. Focus on our relationship with, with our Lord and Savior. He's going to come back one day and you want to be ready. We got to stay ready. I'm fighting every day to, to do the right thing. But I know it's something that I must do. Don't give up on our Lord. Hang in there. Fight the good fight. Because one day, this life as we know it is going to end. And we want to make sure we're right with Christ. Like I said, sorry about all the noise. I got distracted with the noise upstairs, the dog barking, all this stuff. But I just feel like God put it on my heart to do this video. I should have been done this video a few days ago, but I was procrastinating, so I'm doing it now. But there's, like I said, ain't no excuse. But we got to do the right thing. I'm going to hurry up and end this video because as I keep talking, it's more noise and more noise. So I'm just going to end this video. Thank you for watching this video. God bless you. And accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior today. Amen. Peace.